Right, okay. Our first <laughs> guest today, shot to fame playing Mel Owens in EastEnders. But now, Tamsin Ithwait is joining forces with another soap legend, our very own Denise Welsh. And Tamsin has uh, ditched the studio lights and enormous sets for her latest project, Done Breeding. Um, her cameraman and director is real life partner Tom, and the set is her home. Hi, gorgeous. Let me just prop you up. Hold on. There we go. That's better. You all right? Yeah. Ruby, can you get me the lemons out of the fridge? They're limes. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. So? So? Why, why did you call me? Did I? Oh, yeah. Yes, so I did. Sorry. Um, sleep deprived bird brain. Hello, Tamsin. How are you doing? Oh, it's Hi. so great to see you, Tamsin. So look, <laughs> this is so brilliant. Done breeding, and it's such a great idea. And I mean, it's a lot of women, they're talking about various stages of the menopause and how they've been affected. But ultimately, this is a story about friendship, isn't it? It is. It's about six women, and they have been through everything together, pretty much. And they get to a place where suddenly it's the menopause, and you don't really hear it about how to deal with the menopause. It feels like there's still a lot of stigma attached. And this is, it's quite fearless, you know, it, you know, the language and everything, it's quite raw and it's brutal. And it's the way six really good mates would probably talk to each other whilst going through the menopause. Mm. All shot at home. All shot at home, exactly that, which is, it's a genius idea. I mean, the timing of it just seems to work in, in lines with the script, obviously, as well, Tamsin. But, it, I mean, it can't be the easiest doing everything at home. And, like, we talk about Tom there, your your other half, who is now starring in it, filming it, <laughs> directing it. I mean, how has the relationship changed uh, under the circumstances? <laughs> um, well, it's a challenge. It's a real challenge. <laughs> Everything that used to take, you know, not very much time at all because you had a crew of 40 is now taking a long time because Marnie and Flo, my kids, are involved as well. So I have to go, right, can you either be involved or can you both be quiet just for 10 more minutes? Um, so it's putting, it does put a strain on all of you, but we're all loving it as well because sometimes it's just we need the distraction from all of this madness. So... It's really lovely to have like something to do and it be creative. And the writing, because of Julie Graham, is it's hilarious. Mm. Now, the important thing is we don't even mention lockdown. So somehow we, this is all happening with no mention of what's going on. Mm -hmm. That was going to be my question. We, is it scripted? Can you get to yeah, ad-lib or have you got scripted. to keep to the strict script? Yeah, we, got to, we have got to keep to it, really. I mean, Julie says, you know, if it doesn't feel right, then say something else. But... She's such a great writer, um, and I think that the script not talking about corona and still all of us on FaceTimes talking to each other feels quite, you know, it feels pretty natural. It doesn't feel like... it. I mean, we do all want to get in a bar together, obviously, but uh, apart from that, it's... You, you wouldn't know, I don't think, and maybe you wouldn't know that it, it was filmed by our other halves and kids... You know, so, are you so doing it's that amazing every day? what you can achieve. Sorry? Are you doing that every day? No, no. Oh. It's it's meant to be one day a week, to be fair. And, but instead of it being one day a week, it kind of overspills because we'll forget to get a shot or, or you know, something's really noisy. I'm dealing with a lot of noise at the moment outside my house and I'm meant to be filming on the terrace. So every time like there's drilling going on, I'm meant to be doing yoga on the terrace. <laughs> so it's it does halt the filming a lot, like things that you wouldn't normally, I don't know, you wouldn't think about. Yeah, you have to wait for a plane when you're filming, but now you're waiting for a dog, a plane, a builder. You know everything. Yeah, it's, it's just it changes it's, the dynamic. It's a real eye open now, and you do have a newfound love and respect for the crew. Yes, absolutely right. And we, like Denise has yeah. been talking about do the you, show a lot find... to us. Um, sorry, Colleen. Uh, uh, Denise has been talking a lot as well as as Colleen's probably going to say. But she sent you a little video, Tamsin. <laughs> if you just take Hi, a look Tam. at this. 
Hope you're having a lovely time with the girls. I'm sorry I can't be there today. It's gonna to be so nice to see you not virtually, either on Loose Women or Done Breeding. The girls are all big fans, by the way, so I know you're in safe hands. But I know that you and I have shared a few stories about um, not working with um, children, animals, and indeed husbands, because there's a couple of times when I'm about to do the clapperboard just here, and then it just gradually finds its way down to there just to give him a little <laughs> bit of a shock. <laughs> Good old Denise Townsend. <laughs> so, Tamsin, you, you are tested. We were talking about the fact that Tom and I probably have barely had a row in like two and a half years. And now it's like, will you just be patient? And it's all these little things that you suddenly think, God, this could turn you into a bit of a monster working alongside your partner. But what kind of things are you arguing about? Is it just what you're filming or does it spill over into your personal life? Oh, no. It's, it's literally just about, babe, that light's far too bright. Oh, no, I don't think it is, but I think it... And then you've only got 10 more minutes. So we've got to shoot this now. Well, I'm on a Zoom call. I'm sorry, but I've got a quiz for the family tonight and so I can't shoot anymore. <laughs> I'm not shooting in this light. And it turns into, like, I don't know. It's just ridiculous, <laughs> really. But it's, it's a really strange set up filming at home then it's not reality i suppose it really does make you think you know how how do people have a camera in their house following everything mm, and it will look mm. tams and i've had many tonight out with you um how are, <laughs> how are you coping uh, being stuck in the house what's lockdown doing to the, the whole family i know obviously busy with the series but yeah. just sort of inside your own head how are you coping with it uh, very up and down. Sometimes I'm absolutely fine with it and I'm thinking we'll never get this time back. We should really be making the most of it. When we first kicked off, my daughter did a timetable that was so exact and it was like yoga and this and that. We haven't managed one day mm -hmm. of the timetable. And Tamsin, Not one. Tamsin, didn't you think that you had the coronavirus? Yes. Early doors, uh, wasn't it? It was on the day that we were doing the Seagull in the West End. We hadn't opened yet. Um, we, we'd had, like, previews, but we hadn't done our press night. And I woke up on the Monday the 16th, and my throat was like someone was just sticking a knife in it, and my head was like someone was banging a hammer on it. And then for about five days, I was so achy. But I didn't have a cough and I didn't have a fever. But I've never really felt, you know, quite so wiped out. Mm. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't so it? You I hear assumed. Yeah, yeah. I well, assumed look, it's was. great to see you doing so well, Tamsin. And like we say, the series is so brilliant. It's called Done Breeding. It's uploaded to YouTube every Thursday at 3 p.m., isn't it? So, yes. It's there uh, for all to see. this Thursday. I can't wait to actually come on and sit there and oh, be able to exactly. have a cup of tea exactly. out of we'll a have loose a, women. We'll mug. have a hug, <laughs> Tamsin. Honestly, send our love to everybody back home. Love Thank to you, you so love. much. And Joe. Great Thank to you. see you.